Witam Państwa. Przeprowadziłem dzisiaj rozmowy z Ministrem Spraw Zagranicznych Republiki Armenii, Panem Araratem Mirzojanem. O ile podczas mojej wizyty w Erewaniu w charakterze przewodniczącego Organizacji Bezpieczeństwa i Współpracy w Europie nasze spotkanie koncentrowało się przede wszystkim na zagadnieniach kluczowych dla tej organizacji. From the point of view, from the point of view of this organization today, we discussed uh, our bilateral um, issues, um, issues that um, uh, our societies and our states have in common. Poland and Armenia have very good historical relations. We realize that our centuries old relations are special and friendly and they link our two peoples. In 2017, we celebrated the 650th anniversary of the Armenian presence on Polish soil, while in February this year, we marked the 30th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between our two countries. At the same time, we wish to further strengthen and develop our relations with Armenia. Poland supports Armenia on its difficult uh, path of modernization and continuation of democratic reforms. We are prepared to share our experience of uh, successful systemic uh, transformation with Armenia. We attach uh, great importance to the development of bilateral parliamentary cooperation, and that is the reason why Minister Mirzayan will also meet with uh, the speakers of the Sejm and the Senate during his visit to Warsaw. We agreed with Minister Mirzayan that uh, economic cooperation between Poland and Armenia is not as intense as we would wish it to be. There is a great potential between our two countries to develop cooperation. We have expressed interest in increasing the level of trade exchange and increasing the number as well as the value of Polish investments in Armenia. An example of good cooperation between a Polish company with the Armenian government is the contract signed in May this year between the Armenian Ministry of Justice and the Polish company Enigma for the supply and implementation of an electronic monitoring system to the Armenian Probation Service. I am very pleased that the Warsaw Stock Exchange has signed an agreement to purchase a majority stake in the Armenian Stock Exchange Amrits. The decision of the Warsaw Stock Exchange to invest in the Armenian Stock Exchange is a good example for Polish and European investors interested in the Armenian market. I hope that these investments will be followed by others. I inform Minister Mirzoya that we are committed to continuing providing development assistance to Armenia. One of the most effective ways of helping is, is transferring our know-how when it comes to economic transformation and institution building. 
We are also ready to continue our cooperation on the reform of the Armenian penitentiary system. In this context, we plan to organize a study visit for specialists from Armenia still this year in the fall. We see great potential for the development of Polish-Armenian cooperation in the fields of culture and science. And here, some projects have come up during our discussion will for sure will be followed up with analysis and no doubt will be implemented. Poland and Polish universities are popular among students from Armenia. Poland is open to intensifying academic cooperation with uh, its Armenian partners. We are pleased to note the recent important political developments in the relations between Armenia and Azerbaijan. Specifically, we welcome the recent meeting in Brussels of the leaders of Armenia and Azerbaijan under the edges of the President of the Euro Council of the European Union, which took place on the 22nd of May, as well as the announcement of the start of the process towards signing a peace agreement. We stress the importance of holding direct talks to resolve the issue of demarcation and delimitation of a border. In this context, it is particularly important to reduce tension and naturally to avoid provocation. We are confident that the normalization of relations between Armenia and Azerbaijan will lead to the development of the region and help to resolve pressing humanitarian issues, among which the most important appear to be the cases of Armenian prisoners, missing persons, uh, the issue of mine clearance issues, or last but not least, the protection of historical and cultural assets. We maintain a readiness to support the peace process, especially within the framework of the OSC that we chair this year, and which still has the potential for de-escalation, monitoring, and promoting confidence building measures. We are aware of the negative impact of Russian aggression against Ukraine on the situation in the South Caucasus region, including Armenia. This concerns both economic, economic and security issues. During our talk with Minister Mirzayan, I pointed out that Poland vocally and strongly condemns Russia's actions in Ukraine. And I stress the importance of maintaining international solidarity against the aggressor. Poland has consistently supported Armenia's aspirations for closer relations with the European Union. In this current situation, cooperation with the European Union is becoming even more important for Armenia. We believe that Armenia needs a comprehensive and coordinated assistance from the European Union. S support for the stabilization of the economy and reforms is crucial. Poland has been actively raising these issues in the European Union, and we hope that proposals for concrete actions will be developed and worked out by the EU in the near future. Thank you very much. Thank you, Minister. Minister, Minister, on the floor is yours.